and I knew what a woman was, not a bad bitch. This mob mentality of people just follow you no matter what, you can literally lead them off a cliff and they will thank you for it. This video has a lot to unpack, so let's just kitchen, get right into it. Kitchen. Bro, I'm gutter, I'm this, I'm that. Man, I had a, a perfect, a perfect example of what a man was in my life by my father. Mm -hmm. My parents has been together for 36, 37 years now, and it's, and it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew up in a three-parent household, my mom, my father, and my grandmother. And uh, I knew what a woman was, not a bad bitch. Okay, what's the difference? A woman. Proper family structure in his household growing up. The father was present, the father was providing. He had a mom, the mom was present, the mom was nurturing and caring. He had a grandmother who would bestow wisdom, and she was there being nurturing and caring and providing as well. So he has three key figures in his household growing up. That's more than a lot of people these days. There's so many people who just don't have a stable father that's inside their life, or maybe they don't have a great mother. Maybe their mother is abusive. There's there's other stuff that gets in the way of great beginnings when it comes to people growing up. Such a solid foundation. <laughs> this is awesome. And he's become a pretty solid man. Let's hear what he has to say about this. Okay. A bad bitch is a person who's just, you know, girl, I'm a bad bitch. You know, I'm doing yeah. this, I'm doing that. I, 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 mm -hmm. I looked apart, but I don't act apart. Okay. You know, and mm -hmm. it's a lot of women who are bad bitches. And I say bitches in, in, in a way not to degrade a woman, but just to 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 go off the aesthetic of what they deem is a boss chick. He's saying it in regards to the old definition. It used to just be if you were a bad B, then you were just a very sexy woman. Congratulations. Like that's how easy it was. It's kind of hard to keep up with things like this. I'm just going to be honest with you. Sometimes things just kind of change overnight. So let's hear what he has to say. A woman for me is handling your own, but knowing how to cater to a man's needs. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times when you get that, I'm like, Gilly. Of, like mm -hmm. I'm a boss bitch. Like I'm a this, I'm a dad. No, baby. Like, but you can't cook. Okay. You don't know you don't know when to be quiet. You mm -hmm. don't know how to allow a man to lead. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of women now the kickback of that is be quiet. I'm gonna be quiet for the man and handle his business. You know, that's what they say. Mm -hmm. Oh, if, oh, I'm gonna mm -hmm. be I'm gonna be vulnerable, I'm gonna be submissive to a man and handle his business. Mm -hmm. That's what they're gonna say. So what what is your But it's ways to do it. And I'm not just about to sit up there and beat up my, my, my queen. No, I ain't saying it like that. Misogynistic take is what people are trying to say it is. And for some reason, when a guy says what he prefers and a woman, some women get a little a little offended. They're like, oh, well, I mean, I'm not that. I don't need to be that. Like, why do you have to have a woman that's this and that? It's like, why do you have to need a guy to be six foot, to have six figure income, to have an eight inch dick? Like, why do you need all this stuff? Why, why do you need a guy with this? super fast car, not a wage slave. All this stuff is just demeaning to regular people. Why do you need all of that stuff? Oh, well, that's just my preference. I just want a guy who's this tall. Like I can't have a short dude or whatever. It's like, okay then. I'm not even complaining that you want that. If you want that, that's fine for you. I can have my preference. If I want a woman who's staying at home and I literally provide everything for her, then I want a woman who wants to do that. That's a traditional woman. But I'm also gonna, gonna also tell the men to start being men, bro. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That, that sucker shit should not be rewarded. And what sucker shit? So, you know, when 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 a person when a person carries himself social media wise, and it's a fraud in real life. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, it's more to every person that got money, every person who's rich, isn't a real one. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. And I think that gets kind of misconstrued in this society now because a lot of people have money but they're not genuine people. 
For some reason, some of you guys have it in your head that just because somebody has a lot of money and a lot of success, they're a wonderful person. You can trust them with anything. They're gonna have your back. They're gonna be your best pal. If you have a rich friend who is super popular, they're gonna be a best pal. Oftentimes, it's not like that at all. Oftentimes, actually, a lot of the people who've made it, they're, they're kind of assholes. I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. I don't even wanna curse on this channel like that, but they are, they're just kind of butts. You gotta understand when you're at that point where it's just thousands and thousands and thousands of people who are propping you up who are giving you props for literally every single thing that you do you could get out of bed and then people are going to congratulate you like oh my god yeah you made it out man you was in bed man for eight hours man we didn't know if you were coming back like they will literally just fiend for you this mob mentality of people will just follow you no matter what you you can literally f lead them off a cliff and they will thank you for it they're regular people just like you they have flaws just like you and some of them might be a little bit more flawed because of their ego it's almost impossible for you not to have an ego when you have thousands of people cheering you on that's just something that you guys need to understand need to learn as far as everything else he said i mean tame Dude, it's tame he said some tame stuff he said tame stuff that i think both genders should look at and try to grow on. He was saying stuff about the dudes, he was saying stuff about the woman. Just with the political climate, like whatever you say against women is just misogynistic. You cannot have an opinion on women while being a man, it's just not allowed anymore. So he just has to understand that, like you just can't openly talk about women anymore. It's just not, it's just against the rules, especially if you're not just bigging up people and you're being real about it. Like, oh, I don't like this type of woman, I like this. I, 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 you can't say that anymore you can't do that anymore i'm obviously joking right now it is a double standard there's women that literally rant they will talk about a man and how trash he is and what they want in a man and what they think men should do and all this stuff 24 7 they will literally make a career out of talking about how trash men are the second you say i prefer a woman to do ah what the heck what are you talking about you prefer women to do what why should a woman bend to your rules and your preference you should be thankful for what you have you should be thankful that a woman is even looking at you they're gonna do that and it's just disgusting but yeah what do you guys think about it i mean yeah it's pretty tame he seemed to be a solid dude i mean he has a very eccentric fashion style i mean tell me what you guys think in the comments down below if you guys happen to like this video please like the video if you guys happen to dislike this video please share it to one of your most hated enemies maybe they will like it over here i have a <laughs> I forgot what I had. Over here, I have a PlayStation 5. I'm giving it out at a thousand subscribers or an Xbox Series X if that's your thing. Make sure you subscribe down below so you have a chance of winning either one of those things. As always, this has been Genshin Kenshin. Thank you guys for watching and peace. <laughs>